Good morning. We're on the Independence of the Sea, Deck 2. We're near the Crown and Anchor, and also the conference rooms are right here located forward of the ship on 2. And there is also the Bill W meetings that they have down here. And some very unique artwork. Other parts of the deck is state rooms, obviously located on deck two. And this is deck three. This is where the downstairs of the Royal Theater is located. This is where they hold a lot of the shows, bingo, and other miscellaneous activities. Continuing on to deck three, this is the aft of the ship. You cannot walk straight across due to the dining room and the studio B. So you have to go either up or down to continue on deck three. But this is also where you can see the art gallery. They do art shows, they do champagne shows, so you can at least get a free bottle of champagne participating in the art shows. And also this ship does the digital photos. So if you do photos throughout your cruise, you can come down here and view them and buy them and purchase them. And if you're missing one of your cameras, such as a GoPro, they do offer purchasing of GoPros on the ship. So in Studio B, they have the ice shows and um, we actually did a laser tag today, which you have to watch out for those. Those are really fun to do. So this is uh, Lewis. Yeah, Simon this. Okay. And he's from South Africa and he's going to tell us a little bit about the uh, laser tag. Yeah, so laser tag is pretty simple. So basically you have two teams. You have the aliens versus the robots. So as you can see, we use the ice rink. So there's no running, no jumping, no crawling allowed, otherwise you will slip and fall. So it's basically two teams against each other. It's randomly selected, so sometimes family members fight against other family members. And that's about <laughs> it. If you guys want to join, just make sure you have on shoes, and you guys are good to go. Exactly. So we played earlier, we lost uh, the second time, but we won the first time. So awesome. it was awesome. All right. Come All right. Thank you guys. Thank you. So this is a sneak peek in the laser tag. Typically it is, like I said, the ice skating show. They do teach ice skating in here as well. So you have a multi-purpose room. Right now it's set up as laser tag, which they usually do a team of like at least six against another team. So when you do participate in the ice show, you want to make sure you at least get here early because it does fill up fast. On deck three is additional state rooms and you have a staircase that leads up to deck four. So welcome to the grand stairs. We're heading up to deck four where you'll find the schooner bar, the zoomies, the casino, Valerios, and I'm pretty sure the star lounge is behind us. Nope, correction. The second level of the theater is behind us. Also on deck four, you have a Zoomies. Currently it is closed. It will open for dinner at 5.30 to 9.30. This is Zoomies on Independence, has hibachi and a sushi option. Welcome to the Schooner Bar, which is also surprisingly closed. I guess they're not expecting many of us while we're in a day at port. As we make our way to the back of the ship, we will be cutting through the casino on over to Playmakers to Sports Bar. Welcome to the casino where there's lots of slots and tables to include Texas Hold'em, Blackjack, Roulette, Three Card Poker, Craps. The main slot machines are Penny and Two Penny. There are a few dollars and some 25 cents in the back. However, the 25 cents is also card games on a slot machine. Our personal favorite is the Wheel of Fortune. Take your chances to win big. I think it's the Wheel of Misfortune. Welcome to Playmakers to Sports Bar. Here, for an additional charge, you can get some sports bar type food like wings, onion rings, burgers. They have a few little games here skeet ball, basketball, pool tables, and you can watch 
all of your favorite sporting events on ESPN2 and ESPN. If you have the ultimate dining package, you do get $20 per person per day to use in the Playmakers. Welcome to Boleros. On this smaller ship like the Mariner, on this deck, on the left side, you'd have a Starbucks. On the Independence, you have an extra lounge. Plus, this is a photo op. This car chair with the church background. The photographers will come take your picture in the chair or at the stairs. Boleros plays a variety of music throughout the afternoon and the evening. Here's the dance floor with a lovely couple practicing. Boleros has a bar. If you have the unlimited drink package, you can get your drinks here. If you have a soda package or a refreshment package, you can also get your sodas and bottles of water here. And in the back of the ship, we have the dining room. This is the dining room on deck four, and I believe that deck four is first and second seating dining. And if you have my time dining or any time dining, that would be on deck five. In front of the dining room, if you'd like to know what tonight's menu or theme is, it's always posted out front. Tonight is Taste of Italian. They usually on a shorter cruise start with day one, American, day two, Italian, day three, Caribbean, day four, you're home. I personally think the dining room is quite beautiful. I love the chandelier and the Shakespearean backdrop. Sometimes if you're lucky, they do have a piano player playing in the dining room nightly. The dining room consists of three floors, deck three, four, and five. Deck three main dining room is where you'll find your breakfast in the morning. We arrived on deck five. We are viewing the exterior of the upper deck of the dining room. Dining room as mentioned in other floors is a three-level establishment, third, fourth, and fifth. And we're transitioning on to the promenade. Promenade contains a host of available options. There's yet another bar. There's the guest services facilities to assist you with problems with your polio, room issues, general questions, pretty much anything you can think of that's not booking a new cruise or not a shore excursion because there's a dedicated shore excursion desk right next to guest services. Beyond the bridge we're crossing and into the promenade, on our left, we'll approach Next Cruise. Next Cruise is the onboard booking option. While you're here, if you'd like to get another cruise vacation set up, they do offer some additional onboard credit, bonuses or discounts for doing so, depending on the length of your stay and the class of your ship. It's always great to book here. Even if you have a dedicated travel agent, they'll also always post the most up-to-date and current itineraries, whether that's the Alaska trip you're looking for next week or next year, Europe, if you'd like to get out of the US for a little bit, the plethora of Caribbean destinations. And of course, at this time, right on the cusp, 2024, it seems like just around the corner, we'll be launching the Icon of the Seas the newest and largest mega ship. As we're currently in port, most shops are going to be closed, but it was a good time to film for you because simply there's not a lot of crowd. So the shop, as it's titled, carries mainly the logo gear for Royal Caribbean, although you can find it in some of the other shops. This has a large concentration. Sugar Beach for your little ones. If you'd like to help them rot their teeth before they're 40, we absolutely would recommend stopping by and getting a 12 inch gummy bears. They also have some cute and throwback retro candies, which you may or not be able to see throughout the shelving for some of the uh, older kids. My wife's favorite wake up spot on the Independence, the Cafe Promenade, which also contains the coffee bar, which is considered a specialty drink. If you have the refreshment package or ultimate drink package, those coffees, with or without booze, would be included at no additional cost. 
underneath that package. They also have some small plates here available which rotate throughout breakfast and the afternoon and into early evening as well. This is coffee number four today, but nobody's counting. Across from the coffee, we have Ben & Jerry's. Ben & Jerry's is a hay store. This is not included with the ice cream that you can find on the pool deck for everyone. The pool deck ice cream, which is a soft serve uh, style, is complimentary whenever it's open. Ben & Jerry's selections have a a la carte charge and is not part of any food or dining package. If you are in the mood to splurge just a little bit, they have some of the most common and most popular flavors uh, of the brand. If we had smell -o vision you would be able to tell that the waffle cones are in the process of being made and it smells amazing. A little known secret is above this Ben & Jerry's, there's a room that you just kind of see past the cows. That's actually referred to the Ben & Jerry Suite. Although it is a standard promenade view room, it is classified as a suite. Although you can't see through any of these curtains, the interior, from what we know, is decorated in a cow and dairy montage. The other benefit of it, although it is not located near other suites, is it does come with other suite amenities. There's a rumor that you get unlimited ice cream if you're in the suite. We've never been able to get anyone to truly confirm that for us. Passing here is the jewelry and, and watch store Regalia. There's a dedicated Effie selection. Those of you familiar with uh, jewelry, Effie is a very well-known brand throughout the U.S. and uh, all of the Caribbean islands. They also carry Breitling, Tag, a number of other high-end watches. They even do have some pre-owned Rolexes uh, certified by the Swiss Crown here that uh, are available. Prices obviously vary based on the models, but we always caution that people take time and really know what they're buying when it comes to a watch, as prices can swing quite a bit. Also here on the front mount is the collection. This is handbags. You'll actually never catch me in this store, but you can't keep our wives out of it. It is a rotating selection, it seems, of semi-name brand and well-known high-end brand. Uh, purses, pocketbooks, wallets, clutches, and just about any other piece of luggage or, or accoutrement that your wife buys but really doesn't need because she already had 10 in the closet. A unique option here on the Independence, although it does appear on other vessels, is uh, Vintages. This is the wine bar. The wine bar is currently not open, but it does have a beautiful motif. It is a nice place to sit and relax uh, throughout the day. And those who do enjoy a quality glass of wine, this will have the largest selection of individual wines uh, throughout the ship. And if you're really, really thirsty, they have the economy bottle right here. We're coming right past Solera, the beauty salon, which has fragrances, creams, facials, really a basically an Ulta on board without the salon. A little bit further on, the Ale and Anchor. This is the English style pub that you'll find. Many ships of this class and others have a pub style seating area. Uh, in some of them you'll find live music. Others you occasionally have karaoke being done. Some of them carry a TV or two and you can occasionally catch a sporting event especially if there's no playmakers on that ship, the pub often ends up being where you will find uh, that type of entertainment. We have an auxiliary entrance to uh, the Casino Royale. I know we covered that as we went through Deck 4. Just another entrance uh, here from the promenade, one that seems a smidge more regal. Crossing through Trend, Trend carries, again, watches, jewelries, different level than the previous. These would be, in some people's opinion, the lower end items. Other people think they're higher end to each his own. Important shopping desk to find one of these on every ship in some manner, as well as seminars. If you've never been to a port or an area, 
they like to, of course, uh, push you into certain select retailers and sometimes offer exclusive discounts for it. If you've got that refreshment package we discussed or the ultimate drinking package, you'll receive a complimentary cup which allows you to fill up at the soda machines that we've passed. There's some in the Windjammer here as well. And occasionally larger ships will have them scattered in other areas. We're currently passing, in this case, Sorrento's, the dedicated pizza establishment on this ship. Sorrento serves a pepperoni and cheese pizza available anytime they're open. They also like to rotate through with a specialty slice uh, or two throughout their days. Right now, today's specialty actually appears to be a Caribbean dream pizza, which basically almost looks like Hawaiian, containing pineapple and pork. This is the market. This is where you're going to find your duty-free alcohol, duty-free cigarettes. You'll also find additional logo uh, line of clothing and items here. In an area in the back, there are actually some small toys and children's items and areas as well. You'll find some other assorted munchies and snacks, kind of like a very, very small 7-Eleven or bodega. Depending on what part of the country you're from, it'll depend on what you call it. As we move rest through the rest of the promenade deck, point out that there's an ATM located here at the end of the shops. Should you need to get cash, cash you can also get for a small convenience fee at the casino cashier when they are available charged to your room. Guests can charge up to $5,000 uh, to receive cash per day. And all the way forward of deck five is our Star Lounge. The Star Lounge contains a plethora of entertainment and activities. Sometimes it's trivia, sometimes it's bingo, sometimes it's karaoke, sometimes it's an au auction, and sometimes it's just some people quietly sitting around to read a book who didn't want to sit and go to the library that we just passed. This would be considered a six secondary venue, separate from the main theater that we toured earlier. Many ships do have something like this. For example, there's the South Pacific Bar on the Grandeur, so if there's something themed of that sort, secondary to the main on each ship of any class. Now I'm going to have to start to whisper because we're entering the library. The library also contains, in this case, the onboard computer and office space. There's board games available. Monopoly, chess, checkers, or cheesy backgammon, jigsaw puzzles, and books that are you're welcome to review and, and read while on board, and of course, return to the shop when you're done. If you're looking for a little something to kill time, you'll also find in here the daily trivia and puzzle sheets. They're always out on the desk available. We are now heading to the bow of the ship. The only way to get where we are now is to go down to deck four, go outside, and you get to the forward part of the ship, and then walk up the stairs outside, back to deck five. And this leads you to the helipad that is also used as an area for guests to hang out and look out the front of the ship. Absolutely beautiful views. And it's not too windy today. All right, we're currently on deck six. Now deck six through 10 are all staterooms. So no amenities, shops, anything like that. We'll do a quick walk here, but again, Six through 10 will all look the same for the cabins.
Where's the moving sidewalk? And that wraps all the way to the front or back of the ship. I forget where we exactly are right now. We are on deck 11 forward. This is where your Vitality Spa is located, as well as the gymnasium. Actually a very large facility here. Has free weights, as well as all other standard gym workout equipment. Several treadmills, ellipticals, all facing the bow. That way you have one heck of a view while you're working out. For additional costs, they do have spin classes and different yoga classes. And I should mention that technically the spa is up on deck 12 but there is some check-in down on deck 11. We are now entering the solarium, which is the adult only area. Now it is important to note that although this is the adult area, Royal Caribbean does consider adults to be 16 and up. With that said though, it generally is more populated by adults, but occasionally teens can pop in. This particular solarium is open air and you do have others that are actually in an enclosed dome. Personally, I like the open air because you do get airflow. It feels much nicer. The closed ones feel stuffy. However, the bonus is being able to access the pool when there is bad weather. It does have saunas on both sides. I should say hot tubs on both sides that do hang out over the edge. All right, continuing. Moving towards the aft of the ship, you do come out to the main pool deck. See, live music is going on out here right now. It's also where the main pool is. And movie Under the Stars. This is where you're going to find a lot of your silly competitions, belly flops, sexiest man competition few other things. In the morning there's normally some free yoga classes that are put on either by official employees or by guests. There is a pool bar so very easy for you to go grab yourself some drinks. As we continue on towards the back, this is where your kitty area is. Has a lot of water features for kids of all different ages, as well as a small water slide. Flash away bay. Well, also at the back of this deck is where the free soft serve ice cream is. Now this does have abbreviated hours as of right now, basically 11.30 a.m. to 8 p.m., but that can change depending on the ship. Now the Independence has another food option that is located here on the pool deck as well. So we're going to head over there really quick. And it is a mix of free complimentary dishes 
as well as some additional a la carte dishes that you can pay for. So it is called fish and chips. You can see here, fish and chips, chicken fingers and chips, fried shrimp chips, and crispy fish sandwich. Those are all complimentary. And it's an extra $12 for the fried lobster tail basket. They also will rotate dessert. Deep fried Oreo, deep fried Snickers, things of that nature. And then you do have your standard bar on the back as well. Now also on deck 11 is where you will find the Windjammer Marketplace. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a less formalized seating. You also will find Giovanni's Italian table and chops and grill back this way. All right, upon entrance, you have multiple wash stations. And as they like to say, you must washy washy before yummy yummy. All right, now as soon as you enter the marketplace, on either side are where your specialty restaurants are. You can see here, we have Giovanni's Italian. where you can have exquisite Italian meals. This is considered a specialty restaurant, so it is an upcharge, unless you have the unlimited dining package, which we do highly recommend for you to experience all of the specialty options that you have. And if you keep a look on the website, they generally run specials. And quite honestly, the unlimited dining package is generally worth the cost because most of these dining restaurants are 50 to $60 per person. So if you end up being here on multiple days, then the dining package gives you breakfast in certain restaurants, lunch on sea days, as well as dinner. And again, it's just highly, highly worth that extra cost. Now we're going to do a quick loop of the Windjammer. They do change themes throughout your cruise. Generally, day one is American, where you'll find a lot of burgers and hot dogs roast beef, things of that nature. They will rotate it and you'll see Caribbean day where there's Caribbean themed food. Oh, yep, yeah, that's house about us. <laughs> French day, Italian day, Jamaican day, just depending on the length of your cruise. And it is a good alternative dining option if you're looking for a more relaxed seating. You see today's lunch, we've got some beef stew, mashed potatoes, honey garlic roasted chicken, looks like a cheddar broccoli stuffed baked potato. Of course, the dessert table is always popular. That's right, cruise! Cruise! And you do have a uh, very nice seating across the back that you can overlook the ocean, or in this case, since we're at port, overlook ships that are docked behind us. Now, one of the other options that I know we have mentioned already in this vlog is the unlimited refreshment package for drinks or the deluxe package that would include all alcohol. So with the refreshment package, you can get freshly squeezed orange juice either at main breakfast or here at the Marketplace Bar. Very tasty option. So we are on deck 12. Uh, we are the back of the ship moving forward. And this is where the Flow Rider is located as well as the 
uh, the perfect storm, the sky pad, the sky climber, the wall, and the basketball courts. And and here is located is fuel, which is where the ages 12 through 17 can hang out. And moving forward is Johnny Rockets. So Johnny Rockets is uh, an upcharge. But a nice little secret, if you have the beverage package, you can get free milkshakes. So it's a great place to come. A lot of people forget that it's up here. So it's a great place for families just to come and have some ordinary good old American food. Hot dogs, hamburgers, mac and cheese, french fries. I recommend getting the strawberry milkshake. It's really good. And then as we move into inside, this is the arcade. And as we mentioned in some of our previous videos, walkthroughs, you can limit how much your child spends in here. You can control how much they spend. So if you're looking for a quiet place, the arcade is actually a nice quiet place to come hang out as well. Also located on this same deck is basically the children's programs which we are coming up to next. So this is where the babies and tots are located. Obviously we're not going to go in because we do not have any children with us. So we're just going to do a sneak peek at the nurseries and where the tots can come and enjoy their cruise by their moms and dads go have a little fun themselves. Also on the deck 12 is the three to five age groups. World Caribbean does a good job of grouping the kids together in certain activities. We're going to take a sneak peek. So, continuing on deck 12, there's also the jogging trail, additional lounge chairs. I'm coming up here to get some good sun, this is where you need to come. Looks like another sun deck up top here. And as we move back, here is the solarium pool, which is an adults only pool. You have to be 16 or plus to be considered the adult to be in that pool. And there is also a bar located down there. Okay, so we're now on, I'm guessing this is deck 13. There is more lounge chairs up here. And there's actually these cool looking, cone looking shape beds, day beds, I guess. Nice place to come hang out. And on the very front of the ship is your pup at golf, which is always a great time, especially at night when you come out here, it's cooler. Independent dunes. There's also a shade spot. One thing I noticed on the ship, there is a lot of lounge chairs conveniently located in the shady areas, which if you don't want any sun, this is a great place. Come. All right, now we're moving up to deck 13, which is considered the sports port which has the following, the flow rider, the perfect storm, sky pad, sky climber, the wall, and the basketball court. And as we move up here, we have come face to face with the flow rider. And up top there is water slides. So if you are brave enough to try to hold and surf or stand or, I guess, lay down, this is the place to come. And they do have people out here to help you instruct you. And then we have some kind of jungle gym climbing for the climbing experts. And we're going to move forward to go to the sky pad. Oh, is this the bouncy thing? 
Oh. Uh, so maybe that's what it was. Oh. We have a great view of the rocket. Or rocket. The rock climbing wall. Echo! Echo! So if you want to come watch people climb the rocks, it's a great place. And we are overlooking the basketball court as well. Well, on the right hand side here, you still have part of the diamond lounge where the, the balcony is with the, the chairs. That's the outside part of the diamond lounge. And on the left hand side, that is where the suites uh, lounge is. So, Junior Suites does not count as a, a suite to be considered to go into those lounges. All right, and continue on to deck 14. This is the suite lounge. This is also where they have the escape room, which we'll be doing later in this cruise. So stay tuned for that. Now we're walking into the Viking Lounge. This is a great place to come, have some quiet time during the day. It's usually less crowded. At nighttime, it does become a nightclub. Last night there was a hush party, which, if you're not into loud music, hush party might be way to go and still, you know, have a good entertaining time. And through these doors is the Diamond Club. Where right before dinner you can come up and have appetizers, bar drinks, and just socialize with other fellow Pinnacle and Diamond Plus or Diamond members. So if you're not into the loud music, the loud crowds, this is a great place to come and cool off. People watch, catch up with old friends, play cards, just hang out. Well, that wraps up the tour of the Independence of the Seas. Make sure you stop by our homepage where we have other ship and room tours. As always, hit that like, subscribe, and notification button to be notified when new videos drop. We'll see you next time on the Scenic Crowd.